Uh, so I'm, I'm, I haven't been doing the daily 30s, but it is the most important thing, I'd say, for, for anyone wanting to stay motivated and, inspire, and inspired. I was doing this for like two years straight. Quick clarification, because I'm also not familiar with this. So like the quick 30s, like you're just spending 30 minutes a day making music? Yeah, I came up with the term daily 30. It's it, like, call it what you want. The important thing is you just set, an, set some amount of time that you're willing to do no matter how you feel. Like say, no matter how bad I'm feeling, no matter how unmotivated I am, I'm going to spend 30 minutes working on music. And the way I do is you do something new, although I think that's less important now. I think the more important thing is just work on something. Make a thing, make a sound design, make a melody or... Yeah, or work on a song you're already working on. You do want to do something new at least like a few times a week just because it keeps you from like, oh, stuck on one song for like two months. Like, don't don't let that happen. But so by working for that set amount of time, like you you create the opportunity to become inspired. Whereas so many people just like wait for the motivation. No, you need to create the motivation. So that's one of my number one tips. If you want to be motivated and inspired, do the thing that you're trying to get good at for some minimum amount of time, no matter how you feel. And just set a time that's you're right. willing to do. If you're only willing to do five minutes a day, you, you hate your life and that's all you're willing to do, set that time and do it. Like obviously more is better, but whatever you're willing to do, because everybody gets in ruts and like, it's really bad when you start thinking all or nothing. I need to do 10 hours a day or I'm not going to work at all. Like, don't, don't do that. Just set a minimum. Right. Do it. Gosh. I, I do the same thing with programming. Uh, and so often, like early on, I was, uh, I was having a hard time getting started because it just like seemed like there was so much to do and I wanted to spend hours every day. Um, and that was my goal. And oddly enough, I ended up achieving that goal by doing essentially the daily 30, but only like daily five or 10 minutes. Yeah. Just like do one thing, just sit down, program, like write a line of code, you know, but then I would get engrossed and then I'd, I'd want to do this and I'd want to fix this and then want to build that. And then I would end up being there for hours, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, whereas, you know, I didn't want to sit down to begin with. Yeah. There's no way like someone in my position could do like 10 hours a day because if you got like a full-time job and you're doing this as a hobby that you can't spend that much time especially every day yeah like fuck sleep yeah <laughs> not fuck sleep make sure you get good night's sleep everybody <laughs> yeah yeah get good sleep don't have bad unhealthy habits we were interviewing someone for this uh, uh video game dead estate that's on new grounds and the, the musician would wait until three days be- uh, before <laughs> the deadline and just oh, not God. sleep and crank out an entire soundtrack in three days it sounds great don't get me wrong but it's just unhealthy to do that <laughs> yeah it's fucking terrible <laughs> well it sucks when you're you're working on a team like right now i have this problem i'm trying to get like a animation done this guy only works hard when the deadline's coming up the deadline keeps moving but it's just like oh man like i hate that like i like it when people are like on top of it get it done early you know yeah (laughs) right